Medellin, the city of eternal spring as the people of Colombia affectionately call it. We have finally arrived in what is Colombia's number one tourist destination and today our goal is to learn more about the city, its people and the best food to try. We met up with our local guide Juan from Loma Tours to take us to Comuna 13. If you haven't heard of Comuna 13 before, it's a neighborhood in Medellin that has a dark history of violence, drugs, guerrilla groups, and devastating government intervention, but has been completely transformed by the community who live here into a bright, artistic, and very popular area to visit. <laughs> starting off the tour with a gondola ride which is so cool so this is one of the basically metro systems or public transport systems they have here in Medellin and they connect to the train station so you when you tap one of the train station you stay on and it's all like one price one connection it's only 3,280 pesos which is extremely affordable especially for a beautiful gondola ride with a beautiful view of the entire city we're just actually going on this ride just to experience it because it's a very unique way to get around the city we have our guide here Juan Say hello. <laughs> hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Juan is from La Mesa Tours, who is the company we're doing our food tour slash Communa 13 tour with today. So it's kind of like a bit of a mixture of both, which we just thought would be a really great way to experience the Communa 13 area, which is one of the must-dos when you come to Medellin. <laughs> So we just arrived in the Community 13 neighborhood and already this, na this neighborhood is so much busier, more energetic, like compared to where we're staying, which is very quiet, very chilled. This is like hectic. And a lot, it's very hot as well. Yeah, very hot. But it's one of the areas that I guess is one of the top places to come see and it's one of the reasons why it's become so touristic. Yeah, yeah, no the first part of the street art gallery and is this long mural called Philanthropy. Philanthropia. of uh, like little bars selling beer and cocktails and wine and stuff like that. It's a little early for that. I wouldn't mind the first beer right now. Really? Oh yeah. What? But I think like if you're here in the late afternoon or like sunsetish time, it might be kind of cool. So ready for some food. It's now 11 o'clock, so it's starting to get towards lunchtime. But we're gonna start with some popsicles, which is perfect. It's also very hot walking uphill. There is lemon at the end, so you have to take it like this. You hold it like this. Hello, many of you. Chew, you put more lime juice. Okay, welcome to Medellin. <laughs> Perfect for this time of the day. Yeah, it's so hot. This is so nice and refreshing. It's called Maracumanja. I think I said that right. But it's basically passion fruit and mango, and they have the lemon juice in the bottom. So you have to kind of dip it. It's a little bit sour, a little bit sweet, but it's all just 100% natural fruit, healthy, delicious, so refreshing. Open air escalators on the street. Because Medellin is surrounded by mountains, some of the neighborhoods go straight uphill. So like we saw on the cable car just before. So this particular neighborhood, I'm not sure how many it's in, has escalators to help you travel up there. They were shooting rockets from helicopters to these people. Really? Okay. Trying to take the guerrillas out of the neighborhood. Uh, the operation was successful at the end, but more than 300 innocents were killed. It was, uh, the war strategy, war, even worse than the uh, 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 guerrilla conflict. Yeah, 
Entonces dice arepas de queso. Muy tradicional en Medellín, en Colombia en general. Claro. We have been in Colombia for like two weeks now and we have not yet tried arepa de queso. We've been seeing them everywhere and I keep saying I want them, but every time we see them, we've already eaten or are on our way somewhere, so it just hasn't worked out. But basically this is a type of like corn bread. It's made from fresh corn and inside it is mozzarella cheese. On top of it is costeña cheese and then condensed milk on top of that. We got one with condensed milk and one without because it kind of threw us off a little bit when Juan told us it came with condensed milk because it's not what we were expecting. We we're expecting something like savory. So we're just gonna try it both ways. The sweetness is really off-putting. <laughs> it's just because usually cheese and bread is savory, right? It's nice, it actually is really good, but it tastes like a dessert when I'm expecting like a savory dish. It's just very like an onion, my brain is not computing properly, like cheese and sweetness, they don't go together, but they, they actually kind of do. It's pretty good. Well, let's try the savory one too, and I'll tell you which one I prefer. I don't actually know how savory this is gonna be, but more so, oh, sorry. <laughs> more so savory than the one with condensed milk on it. Oh, look at all of that cheese. Oh. Mm. Much better. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the Colombians who love the condensed milk. I don't mean to offend, it's just <laughs> for my Australian taste buds, the savory is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, so much. But it's good, you gotta try it. That was amazing. And actually the condensed milk one, after a few bites, it kind of started to grow on me. I already starting to get full on that, gracias. Already starting to get full quesada de It's so heavy with cheese and bread, but great way to start the day. Local beer, salud. salud. Oh, it's a nice, it's a bit of a lager, but it's got a bit of a bitter as well. So, a good Australian would like that. It's delicious, though. It's refreshing. Really, really sad history in this area, but it's amazing to see like how much has changed and how much business and vibrancy and energy and it's safe now like I'm walking around with a camera it's amazing I love it Just turn around good yeah. turn around yeah and there's a really nice energy here like you can tell that people have like tried really hard to make this a different neighborhood <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have to buy it a little bit and you put the sauce here. Ah. Yeah. First impression mm. sand sauce. So yummy. I mean, I mean it's fried. It's fried potato. Yeah. How could you be mad? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yummy, eh? So good. Spicy. 3.30. Okay, this one's delicious, but to give you an idea of how oily they are, this is a fresh napkin, and this is the napkin that I use to hold them. <laughs> so not the healthiest, but really, really tasty. I mean, fried potato, honestly. How could you get that wrong? Amazing. <laughs> So this restaurant that we've just eaten at is actually a collective for Afro-Colombian women in this region. Uh, basically what that means is that this is a non-for-profit. There is a lot of different collectives around this Community 13 area and basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to make sure that young people are learning skills, they have a place to go so that it doesn't go backwards to kind of the crime and state that it used to be. So this is actually kind of off the main path. 
from Chota Berti, which is one of the most famous graffiti artists in Comuna. Ay, salud! Alright, we are trying, this is something I've never heard of. This is a coffee and lemonade. So, let's try. Wow, it's surprisingly good. And what is it called? Limonada de café. Limonada de café. Simple limonada café. Um, it's surprisingly good. I, when he said I was not so sure I was gonna like this, but yeah, it's really nice and sweet, zesty. But then it like kind of tastes like lemonade, and then has a coffee aftertaste as you swallow it. I mean, hold on. Different. It's really interesting. Okay. See this collagen out of the cow food, boiling hours and hours, and mix it with the sugar cane extract called panela. The most important is keep your lips open because if not, you're going to. It's very sticky. <laughs> Don't use your lip. Very, very interesting texture. Honestly, I've never had anything like this. I'm really curious. A pure uh, collagen. Not for vegetarian, but delicious. Wow, oh. oh. surprisingly good. It's very, it's like a lolly. I'm still not 100% sure whether I like it. <laughs> I'll try a bit. It's uh, interesting. It's almost like a melted marshmallow. Yeah. Yes, that's a good very good approach. description. Very good approach. Yeah. I've tried it, that's all that matters. Okay, that is everything for our Camino 13 food tour. It was delicious, it was beautiful. We learned a lot about the history here in Medellin, which means a lot to us considering we didn't really know that much. So thank you so much, Juan. Thank you guys, always welcome. It's time to come to Colombia, one of the most biodiverse countries in the world and a beautiful example of social and urban transformation. Always welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. We loved it. Loved it. Highly recommend this tour and we will pop a link in the description so you can do the exact same tour. So we kind of ghosted on you there and that is because after we left Potero Square we actually went back home and had a little bit of rest and administration for ourselves. Now it is clearly night time and if you guys have watched any of our videos before you know we don't usually do much at night time but we are in Medellin and today we are doing a bar hopping tour. So we're actually going to be going around a very local neighborhood called Loreles and we are doing this tour again with La Mesa and tonight we have Anna. Hey, <laughs> welcome to this night. <laughs> so let's go try some local Medellin drinks and tapas. Obviously, filming whilst you're at loud bars and restaurants isn't exactly ideal, so let me give you a very quick recap of how the night went. Our first stop was probably the most lethal, where we stopped at a local bar that was selling traditional alcohol that was originally used medicinally on the Pacific coast of Colombia. We had Pipi Longo and Viche, and they were very strong. <laughs> Stop number two was a little more modern, but still had some ties to tradition. At Vitalina Casa restaurant, you can try cocktails with a traditional twist. We had one made from the Lulu fruit, which is a local, almost passion fruit like that was delicious. And of course it came with spicy salt on the side as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, so good. <laughs> nice. 
and another had a mango ice block in it, like the ones we tried earlier on our Communa 13 tour, but a little bit more modern. We also settled our stomachs from those shots with some local tappers, including empanadas and bouillons. Finally, we made our way to Cali Sedente or Street 70, where all the action in Laurelis is. Here, we finally got to try Aquadente, which is a very popular local drink here in Colombia. <laughs> I liked it a lot better than the pipilongo and the viche, but I'm still not quite sure shots are really our thing. We sat chatting with Anna, sipping on our local beers and learning more about the city and its culture. Both of our guides from La Mesa were born and grew up here in Medellin and they really had a local knowledge. They made us feel so welcome and really made us feel like we were getting the local experience here in this city. So of course we will put a link in the description if you want to take either of these tours. We love supporting local guides when we travel. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video we would really appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up or left a comment saying hi. This is also a sneak peek for our, one of our upcoming videos. So if you want to see where I'm staying right now, then make sure you are subscribed. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.